What's up, everybody? It's the Alex Leak and Friends NFL Podcast. Back for another episode. I'm your host, Alex Leak. We got Dustin on the show. As always, good to have you, bro. Yeah, bro. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And this is just going to be a short little episode. We're looking at going into week 17, just two weeks left in the season. And uh, it's really interesting, like, the, the seating and, and who's going to finish where. You know, we're talking Bills, Chiefs, home field advantage, which is going to play a major role. And just looking at who's going to make the playoffs and who's not, this should be pretty fun, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, it's going to be interesting, really, because, you know, there's a lot of a lot of dark horse teams that can, if you know, when they get in, can do some damage. Yeah, absolutely. So let's look at the AFC East first and the Buffalo Bills. Uh, you predicted them to go 14-3, and three, right? Yep. So their two remaining games is at the Bengals on Monday night, this coming Monday night, and then they host the Patriots. Um, it's very important for the Bills. Do you think they can go into Cincy on Monday night and get that win? That's a big game. I do. I believed I picked them the other night when we did our uh, recap episode, so I'm still sticking with the Bills, man. I'm I'm going all the way to the promised land. You know, I'm going all the way to the Super Bowl. Yeah, and to win it, right? Yep. Um, and so looking at it, this game really doesn't have that much meaning. I mean, maybe in like seeding, but so the Bengals can lose to the Bills, but if they beat the Ravens, they still win the division. Regardless, it comes down to that week 18 Bengals Ravens for the Bills. They need to beat the Bengals because otherwise the Chiefs have a pretty easy uh, finish. The Chiefs should win out. They they uh, host the Broncos and play at the Raiders, which is likely going to be Jarrett Stidham at quarterback, you know? Yeah, yep, absolutely. Uh, so which, I, go ahead. Which is, you know, which I still don't agree with, but, I mean, you know, if there's – they don't really have much to play for, so – the move makes sense. Yeah. Um, that, that, that whole Derek Carr situation is really interesting in Vegas. And, uh, you know, they're kind of throwing in the towel as far as that goes. But so the Bills, um, they can technically lose to the Bengals. And so, I mean, they don't want to lose to the Bengals. They need to win out because the Chiefs are likely going to win out. The Bills will have that tie because of a head-to-head -head win over the Chiefs. So if the Bills want to get home field advantage and play in Buffalo, potentially if they take on the Chiefs in the playoffs, they need to win out. And two tough games at the Bengals and then home against the Patriots. And the Patriots are fighting for their playoff lives as well, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's so much that can happen, man. You know, uh, right now the seedings are just the seedings. In a couple weeks we'll find out what the real truth is. Yeah. So on mine, I have the Bills beating the Bengals on Monday night. I know the Bengals are red hot, but I just feel like, you know, I think the Bills are the better team. Do you agree? I mean, um, quarterback is pretty even. Joe Burrow is damn good when he's playing his best football. Um, but I think the Bills win this game by like three points, you know, a close game that comes down to the wire and then maybe a clutch Josh Allen drive wins the game. Do you? What do you think? I think it's going to be a good game, and, you know, it could really go either way, but I think at the end of the day, I trust Josh Allen. You know, I think he's – and plus, not only that, but the Bills know, they know in their heads that they have to have home field advantage because they they do not want to go to the, you know, the Red Kingdom over there at Arrowhead. And so I think that's what's going to help them win. Yeah, otherwise it'll be a costly loss, and then you're playing in Arrowhead. Um, so it's a massive game for Buffalo in Cincy. I agree. Give me the Bills, and they should beat the Patriots in uh, Week 18, which there's a scenario in which the Patriots make the playoffs at 8 and 9, even with a loss to the Bills. So looking at who's going to get that wild card in the AFC East, um, 
the Patriots host the Dolphins this week. I mean, with no Tua going against Teddy Bridgewater in Foxborough, advantage Patriots, right? They better win this game. Yeah, yeah. This is – I mean, if you if you can't win this game, you probably don't deserve to be in the playoffs. Exactly. And the Patriots have choked away so many games this year. They should have beat the Raiders. They should have beat the Bengals, you know, last week. So there's – a lot of missed opportunities, and it's crazy that they could still technically get in, but they have to take care of business, beat an injured Dolphins team. And uh, then week 18, really, I mean, at Buffalo, you can still lose that game and get in. And it's all hinged around the Dolphins' collapse, bro. After 8-3, and three, there's a scenario in which they lose out. And with Tua concussed, who knows if you get Tua any of these final games, you know? what? What's your gut say? Do you think Tua, he's obviously going to miss Week 17. Any chance he plays Week 18? Uh, to me, it depends on the severity of the concussion. I haven't really heard anything. I, I don't know if you've looked into it or anything. I mean... I uh, haven't. Just your gut. I mean, this is his third concussion of the year. A lot of people, yeah. you know, they're even talking about him retiring and shit, you know? Yeah, um... I wouldn't play him just because of, you know, the long-term issues of the concussions because if you bring him back a week too early, it could have a lot of issues, you know. And so my gut tells me that, yeah, I think they're going to ride with Teddy Bridgewater. But the thing about it is Teddy Bridgewater is pretty injury-prone too. So Yeah, I I just think the biggest thing is you're pretty much weighing – Tua's health and the long-term future of Tua versus making the playoffs this year. And if Miami's smart, it really is in their best interest. Even if you sneak into the playoffs this year, you're not contending. You're not going to the AFC Championship game or the Super Bowl. So take care of Tua's health first and foremost. He's your future. He's your franchise. And uh, go all in for next year, right? I mean – Teddy Bridgewater could technically still get you a win at home over the Jets and get you into the playoffs if the Bills lose. I mean, if the Patriots lose to the Bills. But, I mean, Bridgewater, like you said, is a little injury prone. And if he gets hurt, you're going to seventh-round pick Skylar Thompson. Um, And uh, there's a chance the Dolphins are on a – what, five-game, no, four-game losing streak, and they're staring down the barrel of five, maybe six-game losing streak and miss the playoffs. Yeah, let me say this real quick. Do you know why I'm not writing, completely writing out the Patriots yet? And that's one person. That's Bill Belichick, yeah. okay? Yeah. I, it's, it's, it's January, and if there was one coach that I would put all the marbles in that they would make the playoffs and could go on a deep run. I'm putting my money down on, you know, in, in my opinion, one of the greatest in a, well, you know, one of the greatest in a, of all time, especially in the playoffs. Yeah. And well, you know, and you got to get there first. And so if the Patriots beat the Dolphins, like we expect them to, there's still pressure, and they still need to win in Buffalo week 18, but I doubt I doubt that's going to happen. You know what I mean? So they need help. So they need the Jets to beat the Dolphins week 18 if the Patriots are going to get in. Otherwise, the Dolphins sneak in, and then the question is, do you get a healthy Tua for the wild card round, right? Yep. Uh, the Jets could easily win out here. Um, you know, they're going to Mike White who uh, we've been saying Zach Wilson gives you the better chance to win, but as of the way Zach Wilson played last week, maybe Mike White gives you the better chance to win. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I still believe in Zach Wilson, bro, but I don't want to write him off yet because as somebody, you know, who likes to watch quarterback talent and stuff play, I feel like he's talented, but at this point, I just think that maybe, you know, Mike White could bring in a, a different type of, you know, urgency and, you know, energy into the game. Yeah, and maybe the players rally around Mike White a little more than Zach Wilson at this time, you know? But, you know, I like that uh, 
that dude from the Canadian Football League, man, uh, Shrelf or whatever. Chris, he, Chris Streveler. Yeah, Streveler, man. He look. He brought in some type of energy in that game that, you know, that I thought if they weren't down by so many, he could have brought them back. Yeah, and you can use him. I would start Mike White, but you can use Chris Traveler, especially at the goal line or third or fourth and short. You know, he looks like a pretty good quarterback sneak or quarterback option type guy around the goal line and stuff. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting. But the, you know, Jets at Seahawks, let's see real quick this scenario. I mean, if the Jets win out, if they go to Seattle and win, which is unlikely, but possible and then if they go, if they beat the Dolphins which is probably Teddy Bridgewater there's a scenario in which the Jets still make the playoffs at nine and eight yeah that's wild man there's there's so many things that could happen yeah but I but, think they lose in Seattle uh because the Seahawks are still fighting trying to make the playoffs you know in the NFC so as of right now I have the Patriots sneaking in at the seventh seed and the Dolphins losing out. What do you think likely happens? Do you think the Dolphins sneak in or do the Patriots sneak in? At this point, due to the uncertainty of Tua, um, I have to give the edge to the Patriots. Yeah. And so, and they again, they've choked away so many games. So it's going to be very key to see how the Patriots finish the season. Can they win winnable games and get into the playoffs? And it starts this weekend. At home against the Dolphins, an absolute must win, right? Yep. Um, and then, so the Chiefs, we already talked about the Chiefs are likely to win out and finish 14-3. and three. They play the Broncos and the Raiders, both teams playing. Well, it sounds like Russell Wilson's going to play, but I expect the Chiefs to win at home. So the Chiefs should win out and go 14-3, and three, and that is what puts the pressure on Buffalo to do the same, is to win out, right? Yep, absolutely. Um, Chargers are already in. Uh, they play, you know, home against the Rams at the Broncos. I got the Chargers winning out. So they would go 11-6 and six and get the five seed uh, over the Bengals. Um, let's go to the AFC North, which is really interesting because the Ravens host the Steelers on Sunday Night Football. Um, real quick, let me look. Is Lamar Jackson, has has that been confirmed yet? I don't think it has been confirmed, but I expect him to play on Sunday night. Man, there are so many uncertainties, bro, about, like, these quarterbacks. If, if Lamar don't play, I'm sorry. I have to write the Ravens off. Um... Yeah, I mean, it, they need Lamar, absolutely. It's it's just like last year, right? When Lamar got hurt, they kept saying it's not season ending. They expect him to be back. And then, you know, so, okay. They just said that Clarify was not in attendance for his 10th straight practice. Man, there's a chance Lamar might not play. It's looking that way. And there's a there's a thing right here saying that it was leaked that he hasn't been showing up for treatment. Okay, so what is his what is his exact injury? I I I looked at it and I couldn't remember what it was. Um was it a sprained ankle? So now here's what they say. Jackson has been at all his mandatory rehab sessions. Um Last season, the source says an MRI before he's allowed to practice. Jackson's recovery is one to three weeks, four to six weeks. So I don't know. It's really muddy. You know, we don't know about Lamar Jackson. Um, yeah. I I hope that he's good to go because if he's not, the Ravens are, are in trouble. You know, they need Lamar if they're going to do anything, if they're – you know? Yep, absolutely, bro. I mean, he's 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 their best player. Yeah. Um. So let's say Cincy. 
so it's a big game. You know, we can't underestimate how big of a game it is for the Bengals at home against the Bills. And the Bengals are red hot. Winners of, what, three, five, seven straight. Seven straight wins. So they come in red hot. So we'll see if the Bills can cool them down. If not, um, either way, it comes down to Week 18, Bengals, Ravens. And if Lamar doesn't play, that's Cincy's division, right? Yeah, I, absolutely, bro. It would have to be. And, you know, it would be unfortunate. I mean, if they make the playoffs again, do does a controversy start where they start talking about uh, John Harbaugh? I, I mean – I think – no, I think Harbaugh stays, but I think there's talk about Lamar. You know, Lamar wants that contract extension. They haven't been able to come to an agreement. There's a chance Lamar doesn't come back. You know, if it's two straight seasons where he gets hurt same type of, same time of year and they say it's not season ending and then he can't return, how bad would that look, you know? Yeah, yeah, that would – that wouldn't look good, and I mean, you know, it would start to question, you know, whether the Ravens want to pay him that max contract that he's looking for or not. Yeah, I mean, I'm of this belief. If Lamar can return and play, I give the Ravens the advantage to win the division and beat the Bengals Week 18. But if Lamar's not out there, then the Ravens might be in trouble. They might not win on Sunday night against the Steelers, you know, and they're still going to make the playoffs even if it's at 10-7. and 7. But uh, Lamar is the key to everything in Baltimore. Tyler Huntley is not taking you anywhere, you know? Yep. So we'll see. Uh, I hope Lamar returns. I've, I've been riding with the Ravens this whole time, but, you know, availability is your best ability. Um, and then the AFC South is really crazy, too. Um you know, the way the Texans have been playing lately, there is no way, there's no reason to believe that they couldn't potentially beat the Jags on Sunday. So a big game for the Jags, they need to take care of business and beat the Texans, first of all, to set up the big Week 18 matchup, you know? Yep. Yep, I absolutely. mean, the, te the Texans played the Chiefs close, they played the Cowboys close, and then they beat, who they beat last week? Texans. Uh. They, uh, yeah. So they're right there. They've been playing some decent football last three weeks. Um, I expect the Jags to win that. And then that sets up Jags Titans. And I was really confused with the benching of Malik Willis. I thought Malik Willis gave the Titans the best shot to beat the Cowboys. They went with Josh Dobbs, who did okay. But the only reason that game was somewhat close is because the Cowboys were turning the ball over like crazy. Um, with no Malik Willis, no Ryan Tannehill, I don't expect the Titans to make the playoffs, do you? No, and by the way, speaking of turning the ball over, yeah, uh, I think I'm starting to be right about Dak Prescott, bro. He turned the ball over twice last night. Uh, yeah, and the quarterback center exchange issue. And then – Two pick sixes the last two weeks before that. So, yeah, he needs to start cleaning the ball up better, uh, a lot, you know, protecting the ball. But the biggest story here is likely the Jacksonville Jaguars win the AFC South and host a playoff game. How about that? Yeah, that's – I mean, you know, being a Colts fan, I'm not supposed to cheer for the Jags, but it's pretty cool, though. I mean, they started yeah. off, what, two and six, I believe. Yeah, um, I'll look it up here real quick. Yeah, um, I think I think it was two and six, and then to come out and be currently right now with a chance to, you know, I, won't. I believe they might have been two and seven with a chance to win the AFC South, and everybody wrote you off the fifth week of the season. I mean, it's pretty incredible. For a little bit there, my Trevor Lawrence, Peyton Manning year two type comments early in the season looked really bad but now they're starting to make a little bit more sense and who knows if Trevor Lawrence can get them a division title a home playoff game and possibly steal a playoff win that would look really good wouldn't it absolutely and then we can definitely start putting Trevor Lawrence you know in the top 10 category as one of the best quarterbacks in the league 
Yeah. And so real quick, let's look at the AFC uh, playoffs, if all this goes to form. So let's say the – so as of right now, I got the Ravens winning the division, and that's all based on Lamar Jackson coming back. Uh, that would mean the Ravens host the Chargers in the playoffs. Um, but, I mean, let's be a little bit more realistic here. Let's say – let's say Lamar doesn't return. So – Let's switch this up. I mean, if Lamar doesn't play, give me the Steelers. I mean, who cares about the Steelers, but give me the Bengals week 18. That's all that matters. So that would mean the Bengals win the division. Um, and that would set up Jags, Chargers. How about that? Trevor Lawrence against Justin Herbert in the, in the wild card round. Yeah. Oh, man. That would be, you know, basically you'll be sitting there watching the future of the NFL. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'd love to see how that went down and who got the win there. Take my money because, man, the future is freaking bright, bro. I mean, you have Trevor Lawrence, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen. It's Justin amazing. Herbert, Pat, yep. you know, all these guys. Um, so, I mean, in this scenario – you got Jags, Chargers, Bills, Ravens, Bengals, Patriots in the in the wild card. Um, Bills, Ravens. I mean, again, you hope Lamar's back. It'll be very interesting uh, how it all goes down. Bengals, Patriots would be a rematch of a really good game. So let's go NFC now. Um, so Eagles likely to finish fourteen and three and get that number one seed. Um, they play the Saints, which the Saints are actually red hot. I don't know if you know this, but the Saints have won. Well, they've got two in a row, but they're big wins. And they they play the Eagles, who I don't know, is Jalen Hurts going to be back? That's a big question there, right? Yeah, and I mean, you know, the Eagles, I think, are going to lock up the first seed anyway because I think Gardner is going to pull one at least get one of these last two wins. Minshew? Yeah. Yep, Gardner Minshew. Yeah. Um, you know, even if they lose one, they still go 14-3. and three, They still have the number one seed. So, Eagles not too worried about that. You can kind of rest Jalen Hurts a little bit. Cowboys, uh, I got them finishing 12-5. and five. Big win over the Titans. They play the Commanders Week 18. I mean, that's easily a – a game that could go the commander's way or the Cowboys way. It doesn't really, you know, um, um I kind of disagree with that. If Carson Wentz plays, I'm going Cowboys. I agree, but you never know Cowboys commanders, right? Division rivalry games. Carson Wentz is capable of having one game where he plays lights out. You know, yeah. it's just the lack of consistency is the issue. Yep, that's absolutely true. And, you know, 12 and 5, 13 and 4 isn't that big of a difference for the Cowboys. It's likely the five seed, regardless. Um, we have the Giants making the playoffs. They host the Colts, very winnable game. And then they go to Philly, which is probably a loss. So they would get in as a six seed at nine and seven and one. Congrats to the Giants, you know, on making the playoffs. It's a big step for them, you know. They've, they've missed the playoffs quite a few years now. So, good job on Brian Dable. Yeah, um, damn good job. And this, I have to say, was probably the right hire for, uh, the, for the Giants. Yeah, and a lot of Bears fans were wanting Brian Dable, and maybe he might have been the better choice over Eberflus, but we can't say for sure yet. Um, let's look at the NFC West, the Niners. Uh, man, I got them staying red hot. Even with Brock Purdy, it doesn't matter who the quarterback is. They beat the Commanders last week. They host or, or they play at Vegas against Jarrett Stidham. Give me the Niners. And then they host the Cardinals. Maybe that's Trace McSorley or Colt McCoy. Again, give me the Niners. So they should make the playoffs at 13-4 and four and be the two seed. And then... Uh, all eyes are looking on, are we getting Jimmy G back or can we trust Brock Purdy to win a playoff game or two, you know? Yep, absolutely. Did you 
Speaking of the Niners, did you hear the the comments that uh Shanahan made about uh Bosa? No. He said that they asked him about Nick Bosa's season performance, and he said Bosa is so good that he could sit him out for the next two games, or even if there was three left, and he would still win Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah, I mean he's been an absolute monster and very deservedly so. Um, I do think it's close between him and Micah Parsons, though. It is close. It is. Yeah. But I agree. My vote would go to Bosa. Um, the Seahawks, you know, a great season. But as of right now, I got them missing the playoffs going 9-8 and eight and just missing the playoffs, even though they're, they win out. So they beat the Jets and beat the Rams, two winnable games, to finish 9-8. and eight. But in my scenario, they missed the playoffs. Yep. Oh man, that's that's crazy. And uh, to me, though, like the overall conference in the NFC, bro, is kind of not that great. Or, you uh, know. I disagree. There's some sleeping sleeper teams. I mean, the Cowboys are sneaky good at a five seed. You know, if they're hitting on all cylinders, that's a dangerous five seed. Uh, the Packers is a very dangerous seventh seed, especially if they come in on a winning streak. And then how about the Bucks? You know, barely 500 if they get in, but no one wants to play Tom Brady, especially in Tampa Bay. I sure the hell wouldn't. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, the Seahawks overachieve and potentially finish with a winning record, but I doubt – I don't think they're going to make the playoffs, but it could still be considered a win to go, you know, finish above 500 or be right there. Rams and Cardinals suck. Vikings, um, big game at Green Bay. It's not going to affect their seeding too much. You know, they're the two or the three seed. But that's a must win for Green Bay. You think Green Bay takes care of business in Lambeau, but that's a tough matchup, huh? Yeah, I mean, man, that's – the Vikings are – they they have the potential to be great. You know, I mean, we've seen them play down to their opponents. Yeah. And that's the thing that scares me is, like, I feel like Green Bay, for the time being, is on a roll, and they know what they have to do to get in. And when you tell Aaron Rodgers what he has to do to at least make the playoffs, I think he's going to go do it. Yeah, and you're talking about two home games in Lambeau in January against two dome teams. Division rivals, though, Vikings and Lions. If the Packers win out, we could potentially be looking at a five-game winning streak Packers sneaking into the playoffs, something nobody wants to see. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, The Lions, a great story, a great season, similar to the Seahawks. You know, no one expected them to be there, but here they are still fighting um if they win out well in this scenario they don't make the playoffs but uh let's see who would get in instead of them the seahawks would get in instead of the lions so the lions need to hope that the seahawks lose a game and then the lions need to win out they should be able to beat the bears but then the big question is can they go into lambo and get a big win i don't think they can and so i i put the advantage on green bay right yeah, and hear me out. So who would have thought at the beginning of the of the season that the Lions and Packers, especially the Lions, would come down to week 18, the final game of the season, to decide who, who, who gets in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, credit to Dan Campbell and the Lions. Credit to Jared Goff, who had a surpri- very surprisingly pretty good season. Uh, Without Goff's play, the Lions are a five- or six-win team. Goff did a great job of keeping the team afloat, protecting the ball, not turning it over a lot, and, uh, you know, keeping them in some games. So, um, regardless, the Lions fans have to be happy just to be playing meaningful football week 17, week 18, you know? Yep. Absolutely, man. I mean, you know, and Lions fans don't get – discouraged because this is actually a pretty bright future and 
Now the question is, go get your quarterback, right? Whether that's C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young or whoever, go get your guy that you believe in, a Will Levis, and it, it's got to be a home run pick, right? You can't, yeah. you can't, you know, you draft somebody high and it doesn't work out, and you're screwed. So you got to make sure you get the right guy. If you get the right guy, then your future is very bright, especially with Aaron Rodgers on the way out. You know. Yep, absolutely, and. My my thing for Detroit is, yes, go and get that quarterback because for the simple fact that the next two years as being a big college football fan and watching the guys who are potentially in the draft, this is the best you're going to get within the next couple of years. So if you're trying to win, go get one of those guys. Yeah, and how about this potential of two Ohio State quarterbacks running the north in the future, Justin Fields against C.J. Stroud? Yeah, that that would be wild, but hey, you know, Ohio State could easily uh, be quarterback you. Yeah, and uh, so we'll see. I mean, it'll be very interesting. The Lions also have some Ohio State connections in their front office, so we'll see if that's the route they go. Uh, they could have also drafted Justin Fields a couple years ago too, so definitely uh, a lot of narratives at play there. Let's go to the NFC South where I have the Bucks winning out, finishing the season on a three-game winning streak and getting into the playoffs. But tough games as they host the Panthers week 17. Um, you know, not quite a must win, but a very important game. And then uh, at Atlanta, which, you know, the two winnable games for the Bucks, And if they take care of business, they get into the playoffs. But the Saints, are right there. You know, the Saints are on a two-game winning streak. We, if if Hurts doesn't go, if it's Minshew, if the Saints can find a way to upset the Eagles in Philly, that would really help their chances. But if Hurts plays, that's, you know, a tough task, a, a tall task, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then that sets up, I mean, let's say this scenario where the Bucks lose to the Panthers this weekend. That would set up a winner-take-all week 18 uh, between – well, then the Bucks would need to – so pretty much the Bucks need to lose out. Um, yeah. If the Panthers beat the Saints, if the Panthers win out, then the Panthers get in, even if Tampa Bay beats Atlanta. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, Tampa has that defense behind them, and if their offense can get going, look out. Yeah, it's all about, I mean, it's really about Tom Brady, right? And can Tom Brady get the offense playing his best football and, you know, get him into the playoffs like they should, win a bad division, finish above 500, and go into the playoffs on a winning streak, and then no one wants to play Tampa either. So you could have Tampa, Green Bay, the Jags, a lot of red-hot teams sneaking into the playoffs, even the Patriots, you know? Yeah, absolutely, man. And, uh, I mean, I, I picked the Bills to win it all, but to be honest, bro, it's still up in the air because, I mean, you know, you have the GOAT Tom Brady who you can't rule out. You've got, you know, Joe Burrow and the Bengals who could damn near make the Super Bowl, you know. You just have so yeah. many so many scenarios – that could happen, and I mean, a, a, a team nobody's really talking about, and we know that they're good, bro. But we got to put the Chiefs in there. I mean, absolutely. They, they when they're on their game, bro, they are hard to beat. That's why you pay Patrick Mahomes five hundred mil because every year that he's healthy, he gives you a chance to win a championship. And so this year's no different. Let's real quick look at what – I think we're looking at the most likely scenario here. So let's look at the playoffs. Chargers at Jags, the five seed versus the four seed. If you were to pick right now Chargers-Jags, I'm taking the Jags. How about you? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, Herbert against uh, Trevor Lawrence. I just think that they have too much talent. Who's that? The Chargers. Okay. Give me the Jags at home. You take the Chargers there. The 3-6 would be Bills-Ravens. 
whether Lamar plays or not. Look, if the Ravens lose and fall to the sixth seed, don't win the division, have to play in Buffalo or a road playoff game, even if Lamar's back, give me the Bills. You know, you don't want to be playing road playoff games. Uh, that's why winning your division and getting home field is so important in the playoffs. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Nobody like, wants to freaking Orchard Park and play in 12, but you know, 12 below zero. Yeah, and try to tackle Josh Allen, a big athletic quarterback, you know? Um, and then he's got the arm to the power to throw it in the wind and the snow as well. Uh, so we both take the Bills there. Patriots at Bengals, a rematch of a really good matchup. Sneaky matchup, bro. I don't care what their record is. If the Patriots sneak into the playoffs, they're dangerous. Bill Belichick is always dangerous. I know they got their doors blown off last year against Buffalo, but New England Cincy would be a dangerous matchup in my opinion, especially the Patriots easily could have won the regular season game a couple weeks ago. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, if they don't give up that big lead they had, they yeah. win. It was 22 nothing Bengals, and the Patriots had the ball in position to take the lead late, and then Ramondre Stevenson fumbled it. So, uh, if they can clean some of that up, you never know. But give me the Bengals, you know, just because they're at home. They got Joe Burrow, you know. How about the NFC Bucks cowboys in Tampa Bay? How about that wild card matchup? Oh, man. Sorry, me, Cowboys. Yeah, exactly. Give me the Bucks. The Cowboys are one of those teams that we have seen it so many times. They get into the playoffs and then lose right away, you know. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Uh, Giants at Vikings. Ooh. Give me we the Vikings. Just saw that game, you know, the Vikings needed a franchise record 61-yard field goal just to beat the Giants in the regular season. Yeah, but I think the Minnesota would beat them again. I agree. Give me the Vikings there, but you never know. Uh, if they can force a couple of Kirk Cousins turnovers, the turnovers would play a major role. Daniel Jones versus Kirk Cousins. And then we just talked about how red hot the Packers would be coming in. But this is absolute worst case scenario for Green Bay. If you sneak into the seven seed and then have to go to Levi Stadium to take on the 49ers. Ooh, man. I love the Niners, but you know where my heart is, bro. I can't. I know where your heart is, but I know where my brain is. Give me the Niners. The Niners have Green Bay's number. I believe they've eliminated them from three of the last four, or if they do, it would be three of the last four years of the playoffs. The Packers fans would be so tired of the Niners. Yeah, I got to go with, uh, I'm, I'm going to go with my expertise, and I'm going to go with who I think the overall better team is, and that's the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah. So then we'd be looking at divisional round. How about Bills at Bengals in the divisional round? Ooh. You mean Bengals at Bills, right? No. In this scenario, which I believe is the most likely, the Bengals beat the Bills this coming Monday night giving the Bengals home field advantage for this matchup, dropping the Bills to the three seed. Wow. Because if the Bengals beat the Bills this Monday night, the Bengals get the head-to-head. -head. Then if the uh, Bengals beat the Ravens, they would finish with the same record as the Bills and have the head-to-head, -head, which would put that game in Cincinnati. That's why we're saying it's so important for the Bills to have home field. Man, that scares me, bro. Exactly. That, that would scare me if that's the scenario because, yeah, man. You need to be watching Monday night very closely because that's going to tell you who this Bills team is. Forget about the rest of the season. Whatever you've watched, Monday night is going to tell you who this Bills team is. If they can go into Cincy and get a big road win, and likely secure home field advantage through the playoffs, the one seed, and a first-round bye, that's what they need. If they lose, it could all come apart very quickly. So in this scenario, in Cincy against the uh, Bills, advantage Bengals, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, yep. Uh, the scenario, bro, would be something that I would not want if I'm a, you know, a Bills fan. Yeah. And so it all comes down to Monday night and then that week 18 against the Patriots. Uh, how about Jags at Chiefs? Trevor Lawrence against Patrick Mahomes in Arrowhead. That would be the ultimate test for Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. And I mean, you know, just at the at the end of the day, bro, Bills got to win that game. Against the Bengals? Yes. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, you're either talking about uh, that's that's how important Monday night football is. That's why I wanted to do this exercise to show you that Monday night plays a major role in the AFC championship game. If the Bengals win on Monday night and have home field advantage, I think the Bengals go to the AFC championship game for a rematch against the Chiefs in Arrowhead. If the oh. Bills win Monday night, I think it's Bills Chiefs in Buffalo. That's how big of a role that game plays. Yeah, yep. That's that's absolutely true, man. And but I just got so much faith in the Bills. Yeah, but you're talking about like a seven game winning streak Bengals. A red <laughs> hot Bengals. Oh man, this game is gonna be so freaking exciting. Yeah, it's a playoff game already. Um so let's look at Vikings at 49ers. We've seen this matchup a couple of years ago. I got Niners big. Ooh, Niners big? Yes. If it's Niners, Vikings in San Francisco, this is where Kirk Cousins implodes. He plays poorly. Multiple turnovers. Niners win big. Ooh. I, I, I I've can't say big, before. bro. Huh? I can't say big. Just because I don't think the Niners are the type of team that's going to blow somebody out. They will get you the win, but I just don't think they're they're explosive enough to blow you out. Uh, I disagree. But we know it, the big question is quarterback play. Are we talking Jimmy G or are we talking Brock Purdy, right? Yeah. That's the big question. And then how about this? This is one of my dream matchups for the playoffs. I hope we get to see it. NFC divisional round, Tom Brady and the Bucks at Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. Oh yeah, that would be a crazy matchup, man. Uh, but you know that that one could be wild because I know you were ready to tell me who you're gonna pick, and then you had to think about that for a second. Yeah, because it's like, man, if the Eagles slip up and play one bad game, Tampa can beat them. I'm telling you right now, keep an eye on the Eagles. The Eagles are a scary. They get the one seed, they get that first round bye, and they don't win a playoff game. Keep an eye. I've got the Bucks winning in Philly. Hell yeah, bro. Like, keep an eye. Whoever they play, the Eagles are danger. Or You know, the Eagles are one of those teams that could easily go on a Super Bowl run, or they could easily play one bad game and be out of the playoffs just like that. I know Tommy doesn't want to hear that, but it's true. Um, and that would set up Bengals at Chiefs AFC Championship game rematch or Bills Chiefs. Either way, we, we both think the Chiefs are going to be there. And the question is, and Monday night's going to decide a lot, is it going to be Bengals or Bills? Uh, it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's uh, wild, man. And bold prediction time. Um. Whoever, if it's Bills at Chiefs, give me the Chiefs. But if it's Chiefs at Bills, or if it's Bengals at Chiefs, I have I don't have the Chiefs advancing. I think the Chiefs lose in the AFC Championship game again. Yeah. Oh man. So that in the, in our scenario right now, the one we're considering most likely, the Bengals go back to the Super Bowl. Oh man, there's there's <laughs> things that can happen, dude. It, it's crazy. Yeah, how about that statement for Joe Burrow? You know, and then the big question is, can you finish the job? Right? Can you get the championship this time? Yep. Then the NFC Championship game, Tampa Bay Bucks and Tom Brady at Levi Stadium and the Forty ers Oh man. 
That uh, doesn't, doesn't get any bigger than that, huh? I know y'all are going to call me crazy because of the way they have looked recently. But Tom Brady has been clutch and won champion or uh, game winning drives two of the last three games. I've got Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Bucks going back to the Super Bowl. Yeah, bro. Wow. That's crazy. They go nine and eight. Right now, they're, you know, people are still asking if they're even going to make the playoffs. But I don't care if you find a way to win that division, post a playoff game, get some positive momentum. I'm not betting against Tom Brady, and I'm going to pick Tom Brady and the Bucks to beat Joe Burrow and the Bengals in the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I guess you don't. <laughs> huh? I said, I understand that scenario. Isn't that wild? Yes, yeah, that's very wild. So to me, there's three contenders in each uh, conference. We're talking Chiefs, Bengals, Bills. And we're talking Eagles, Niners, Bucks. To me, that's it. There's no one else that's real. There's three teams in each. Yeah. Oh, man. It's... Buckle up, bro. That's all I can yeah. say. Yeah. It's going to be wild. Um, who would you take? Bengals, Bucks, Super Bowl? Or would you have Niners in instead of Tampa Bay? Ooh, you're asking Bengals, Bucks? Uh, if it came down to that, I'm just gonna go Bucks because I think Brady would outdo uh, uh, Burrow. Yeah, and win a championship at age 45. You think? I mean, do you think Tom Brady can go into San Francisco get that NFC Championship game win? I don't, just because I think that the Niners are so good. You know, I mean, to me, the Niners are the second best team in the NFL, next to the Buffalo Bills. So. And that's the ultimate test, right? If the Bucks are going to go there, they have to go through the two best defenses in football, the Eagles and the Niners. Yeah. And we always say defense wins championships. Um, so, and then who would you take, Bengals or Niners? Bengals or not? Oh, give me the Niners. Exactly. I think, man, so, yeah. Go ahead. The way I see it is, if the Niners can get past the hard parts, bro, they might even definitely give the Bills a run for the money in the Super Bowl. I agree. And here's my prediction. You just said how the NFC is kind of like is it like weak or, or wide open, you know? Yeah. Whoever represents the AFC, give me the NFC. Right, the AFC is going to be a lot of fun. Bills, Bucks, Bengals, or Bills, Chiefs, Bengals, whoever it is, AFC, NFC, whoever's playing in the Super Bowl, give me the NFC, whether it's Niners, Bucks, or whoever you know, or Eagles. Yep. I mean, if it's Eagles, Chiefs, right? Go Eagles. So. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. This was a fun exercise, right, to look at all the matchups. And I uh, can't wait to see how it unfolds and we get into the playoffs. Yeah, bro, it's going to be fun, man. Absolutely. So, all right, that'll do it for this episode. Just a quick one on all the playoff scenarios and our playoff picks. Have a great week, guys, and peace out.